Because of the largest 100 UK non-life insurers shows that the market generally is well capitalised but is encountering a number of challenges. I'm Yvette Essen for AM Beth TV and I'm joined by Catherine Thomas, Senior Director of Analytics to discuss a recent report looking at trends within the UK non-life market. The report shows that the sector is well capitalised. Can you provide me with some of the key highlights and the key figures supporting this? The market is well capitalised and that's despite underwriting losses being reported in each of the past two years. So at year end 2017 the solvency 2 ratio on average for the market was in excess of 160%. Capital adequacy does vary considerably across market participants though, ranging from as low as 100% up to in excess of 1000% for certain insurers that have particularly low risk retention. So generally capitalisation is pretty good, but there are quite a few different challenges that companies are encountering. Can you summarise a few of the challenges companies are facing? Yes, well insurers are facing both strong competition and unfavourable claims trends. So for example in the property sector premium rates are falling in spite of higher claims costs. Also the um, rate increases in the motor sector that were achieved last year have proved unsustainable. This year results will also be affected by uh, losses from storms Emma and Eleanor in the first quarter and from storm Callum in the fourth quarter. Looking forward, there are some more challenges on the horizon. We talk about in the report the Financial Conduct Authority's market study and also the Civil Liability Bill. How are those two issues likely to impact the sector? Well, the FCA is planning to conduct a market study looking at how general insurers charge their customers for home and motor insurance. And it's particularly concerned that existing customers are being charged more than new customers for, for their insurance. So over the coming year, we're expecting increased scrutiny of insurers' um, pricing models and their pricing strategies. Now for the Civil Liability Bill, which was um, introduced into the House of Commons in June this year, we think that will be broadly positive for insurers. Um, the bill reforms the way the personal injury discount rate is set and looks to reduce both the number and cost of whiplash claims. So once implemented, um, the, um, the Civil Liability Bill is expected to be a positive for claims experience in the UK. But given how competitive the market is, we expect that any savings that insurers make on, um, on their claims will be quickly passed on to customers in the form of premium reductions. A copy of AMBEST report looking at trends within the UK non-life sector can be found on AMBEST.com. For AMBEST TV, I'm Yvette Essen.